Shriners Hospitals for Children is a network of 20 hospitals across the United States that provides patient care for youth with specific conditions, educates the community about awareness and prevention, and performs innovative research. The care provided for children under 18 is medically necessary on a voluntary and non-emergent basis. These not-for-profit hospitals will treat patients regardless of their ability to pay or their insurance coverage. Financial support from Shriners International Fraternities and charitable donations makes this possible. Shriners Hospitals for Children takes pride in their cutting-edge, compassionate, high-quality, family-centered pediatric medical and surgical care. These hospitals treat their patients with a holistic approach aiding their medical treatment with psychological support and rehabilitative options. St. Louis is fortunate to be one of the Shriners locations, which also serves as a teaching hospital in partnership with Washington University School of Medicine. Through the provision of medical care and social and emotional support, Shriners Hospitals helps heal and improve the lives of thousands of children each year. Hi, Ms. Rilla. Hi. Hi, Nicole. I'm Dr. Lenahan. Um, I would like to introduce you to your nurse care manager, Anna. She will be your personal resource for scheduling future appointments, and she'll also help you with the financial process. Hello, Mrs. Rilla. Hi. Um, it's really nice to meet you. As Dr. Lenahan said, I'm here to help you with anything you, Nicole, or the rest of your family may need. So if Nicole requires surgery, I'll be the one to help you schedule it. Um, if Nicole stays in the hospital for a while, I'll help plan discharge so that we can ensure that you and the rest of the family as well as Nicole have a comfortable transition back home. So have you heard much about how Shriners was created or our mission? I have not. Perfect. Here's a short video to help explain it. The history of Shriners Hospital for Children dates back to the early 20th century. The ancient Arabic order of the nobles of the mystic shrine conceived the idea that the attention of its members should be directed to the surgical care of the disabled children of America. Freeland Kendrick, the founding philanthropist, wanted to establish a centrally located home where unfortunate children of North America might find the haven under the protecting wing of the Shriner. The first Shriners Hospital for Children was founded in 1922, and at the time, the polio epidemic was prevalent throughout the nation. Thousands of children were left without access to doctor's treatment due to their family's inability to financially access health care. In addition, for many other conditions, parents at the time would refrain from seeking surgical assistance for their children because of the fear of surgery in hospitals. Ultimately, these cases left children frightfully neglected and thus often handicapped for the rest of their lives. Shriners was finding that terminal diseases in children could have been prevented with basic medical intervention. Shriners recognized that if these cases had been treated promptly, the children's conditions could have significantly improved, or they could have been cured completely. Essentially, they were trying to stop this cycle and prevent more and more cases like these from developing. From the time of their creation, Shriners soon expanded their expertise and began treating orthopedic problems, spinal cord injuries, cleft lips, club feet, and other complex surgical needs in children. With this expansion, Shriners found that some of the dreadful diseases they treated often led children only partially recovered. So from this realization, the Board of Trustees decided to enlarge on the original intention of the hospital, and that means they established a Department of Research. This is primarily where we saw a newfound understanding of burn injuries, which became another common treatment for Shriners hospitals. Another large component of Shriners is the implementation of an educational, vocational, and recreational side of treatment. They recognized that treatment time would seem shorter for kids if they were occupied doing some activities. They believed and continued to believe that they would be doing a child a disservice if they were only benefiting a child through medical treatment. So with teachers and implementing school and activities for kids to do, they could be providing the maximal benefit to a patient, and that's something that a child needs to have in order to be completely successful in returning to life after their treatment. That was great, thank you. What a mission. So I see on your chart that we are seeing you for burn care. I'll have a look at Nicole's leg here soon. First, I'd like to let you know for future reference that Shriners Hospital of St. Louis also provides care for orthopedics, cleft lip and palate, and plastic surgery. Some services we offer are limb reconstruction and lengthening, orthotic and prosthetic services, and spinal care. 
Anna, can you please show Ms. Merlot and Nicole the video about our financial assistance programs now? Shriners Hospitals strive to treat children quickly, efficiently, and inexpensively. Before coming into one of the hospitals, parents should contact a referral coordinator to determine if their child's condition is treated at one of our facilities, then also see if they qualify for the financial assistance programs that we offer. Shriners has two main financial assistance programs for those who do not qualify for private or state-funded health benefits. These include Charity Care and Shrine Assistance. Charity Care will take care of all of the medical expenses that the child needs, and Shrine Assistance will usually just reduce the expenses that fall into the family's responsibilities. Eligibility for either of these programs depends on the family's net income and the child's current medical condition. Each child is judged on a case-by-case -case basis, and their condition must require immediate attention to avoid life-threatening circumstances or consequential disabilities. One significance that sets Shriners Hospitals apart from other institutions is that all insurances are accepted, including Medicare and Medicaid. Families who use their private health insurance to pay for these services are responsible for having their primary care physician send a referral over to their insurance companies. Most often, these insurance companies require the referral before they will pre-authorize visits and treatments. Preauthorization means that the insurance agrees beforehand that they will help pay for the specific services recommended in the referral. Preauthorization is only valid for a specific time frame, so if care is not completed during this time, the patient will have to go through the process again before finishing their treatment. So this is the patient portal. You can find it on our website. Um, it'll allow you to view up-to-date um, reports for Nicole's personal health records and also her scheduled appointments and lab results. So the goal of our patient portal is to help you keep up to date with her medical treatments and progress, but it also lets you be a part of the shared decision making progress for her treatments and procedures. Oh, I'm bored. Well, Nicole, you won't be bored for much longer. Here at Shriners, we offer some really exciting programs. This summer, we're hosting several camps that you can go to. Other children that have had burns will be there with you and you will get to make friends with them. We also have pet therapy, holiday parties, and group crafts. All of these activities will be really fun and help you make some friends here at Shriners. Plus, next week, a few of our favorite St. Louis Cardinals baseball players are coming to visit all of you kids. And sometimes the St. Louis Blues hockey players come to visit you guys as well. That's awesome. I can't wait, Mom. Can I meet Matt Carpenter and go to camp too? Yeah. The goal of these programs is to provide holistic care for Nicole, meaning we don't want to just treat her burn. We also want to support and provide emotional and social care for her as well. Shriners believes it is best to care for the child as a whole, not just provide medical care. This is great. I really think it's going to help Nicole make a full recovery. That is just one of the many great benefits of receiving care at Shriners Hospitals. I'm going to show you one more quick video and then Dr. Linehan will get Nicole's treatment started. Shriners Hospitals accept patients regardless of their family's insurance status or their ability to pay. Shriners emphasizes the importance of having a patient and family oriented practice. This is done by making sure the family and the child are comfortable with any decision made as well as feel supported and cared for by the staff. Each patient receives an individualized and personal care plan including multidisciplinary services. Through their errorless communication and care coordination, these interdisciplinary teams ensure there are no gaps in the treatment provided and the quality of care is maintained. Shriners has been a major influence on other countries around the world by helping medically desperate children receive the care they need. These children and their families do not have to worry about travel, housing, food, and transportation costs and can receive treatment that can positively impact their health and wellness for the rest of their life. Although the benefits outweigh the weaknesses, there are a few negative aspects of Shriners Hospital worth noting, as they may create a few complications for the patients and their families. Some individuals find that they move through the system slowly, even if their medical needs are urgent. It can take up to 30 days just for medical records to be sent over from one's primary care physician, and the process of determining financial need can also take a while, since there are many legal steps that must first be taken. 
Time is of essence, so this waiting period may be detrimental for patients with urgent conditions. Although Shriners prides itself in the ability to accept all children regardless of ability to pay, the rest of the weaknesses deal with finances. Shriners hospitals accept all insurance companies. However, one's insurance may not consider Shriners as an in-network facility, in which case there would be increased copays, deductibles, and premiums if one chooses to receive care here. In addition, a child may need medical services that are not offered at Shriners, such as a CAT scan or a genetic test. In these cases, the family has to find another facility that accepts their insurance or has their own financial programs to help with payments. Shriners financial assistance programs will not cover these extra services, so some families find that they cannot afford them at all. Another negativity of the financial assistance programs is the strict criteria that must be met for a child to be eligible for either charity care or shrine assistance. Patients are re-evaluated for financial need if it has been longer than a year since the child has last been treated or if other circumstances arise that may change the family's ability to pay. One final weakness worth mentioning is that Shriners Hospital is treatment-oriented, not preventative. They focus on curing illnesses and fixing disabilities rather than preventing conditions from occurring in the first place. This is something that our country's public health system needs to address as it could drastically decrease our national health care expenditures. Shriners Hospitals for Children has been successful at keeping costs low for their patients while providing high quality care. However, because of these are challenging goals to achieve, access to Shriners Hospitals is somewhat limited. While most hospitals started with charitable motives and eventually moved into a business-driven model, Shriners has maintained altruistic service through nearly 100 years of patient care. Shriners Hospitals aim to present the best hospital facilities and professional talent for children whose parents or guardians have limited finances. Their expert care and research have caused them to be recognized as one of the world's greatest philanthropies and evolve into an international hospital system devoted to transforming the lives of children. This transformation occurs through the integrated emotional, medical, and social care they offer. Although Shriners has a few weaknesses, it offers many more benefits to its patients, providers, medical students, and the community. Overall, the care provided, research performed, and community education programs provided by Shriners Hospital for Children prove that they are one of the most effective and affordable hospital networks in the United States.